Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Uh, some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Are you the smuggler? You snuck yourself in here just to ask me that question. If this is some sort of trick to get me to admit to some crime, you are truly twisted. You can see for yourself that I'm no naught. Come now. Are you the one I'm looking for? I'm already locked up. What more do I risk? Yes, I am a smuggler. But I'm not the only one in this city. I'm searching for a couple fleeing to Leme. They're trying to leave the city discreetly. Have they contacted you? You certainly can't imagine I'm going to answer you without getting something in exchange. I don't really think of my clients as kin, but I'd never betray any of them for free. A real saint you are. How about your freedom in exchange for your loyalty? Tell me where I can find them and I'll open this cage. That works for me. Your two Telemites are hidden in a warehouse behind this very prison. They must be waiting for me. But you might want to be quick about it. If the Norts get their hands on them, they'll find themselves in this same cage. Thank you. Anytime. And these doors? You're gonna open them, right? Who... Who is there? May the Illuminated save us. Did the smuggler send you? The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison, but revealed to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have oh you come God, to deliver us snitch. to the Inquisition, then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. I could have a word with the good Dr. Sahin the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the Illuminated forever light your path. If I manage to convince the ambassador, you'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back. Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Uh... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. 
Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. I hope I ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I am in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I swear you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right! Damnation. He got away. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin, Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. That doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. I'm sorry, but I don't trust you. I'm going to deliver you to Dr. Sahin. Sir, I beg you to spare me. I've heard enough. You're under arrest. How unjust. Let's go tell Sahin about this, and then he can help out the other people that we need him to help. Oh, we're going to stay here, because there's something to loot. <laughs> we're staying right here, because there's something to loot. Give me this. Innkeeper storeroom key. Oh. We could have gotten that to then open up that one door to then get the other key that was locked inside that room. To then go out the back door. Okay. We're good. I'm liking the game so far. It's a little wonky at times. You can tell it's not a triple A AAA game. But I'm actually enjoying it so far. Oh 
I'm loving the dialogue stuff. I'm loving the di the diplomatic approaches to things. Oh my god, they're dying. No, we don't want to do the constant one. We'll go back to the thing. Ooh, we have our fine iron ore. A quality ore taken from mining deposits increased ingredient used in crafting. Alchemical research book. Okay, we already read these. We're almost overweight right now on some stuff. Oh god, he's got heavy armor on. Yeah, his armor's pretty good. Um... Can I break things down? Crafting tables. Lily right here. Cool. I just marked it as Lily right here. Can I... I break stuff down at a workbench? Recycle! Ring of the Priest. That's magic stuff. I'm not gonna do magic stuff myself. Chance of collecting components. Okay. No component collected. Oh. I should if I <laughs> I should just sell the stuff then. If that's the case, I should just sell stuff. If it's not a chance of getting things, we should just sell it at the vendors. You'll find all you need in our Welcome. It's such a pleasure. Have you seen it? Uh sell. We don't need this anymore. Sell. Spy hander. I think he's got a better weapon anyways. Regulation pistol. What are these hats? I like them. Alright, uh... Sell... A sailor's coat. Okay. Don't need that. All right. Cool. Thank you for your visit. We made some gold. Let's head back up to the bridge embassy. A bridge alliance embassy. I assume we're gonna find much better stuff over on the island, so I'm not really worried too much about keeping that stuff in uh in my inventory. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally! Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. He is hiding in a room in the Coin Guard Tavern. Why didn't you have him arrested? Angry citizens have gathered round the building. They have sworn to avenge themselves after discovering his fraud. I decided it better to avoid the mob. But if you wish to capture him alive, I advise you hurry. Governor Buren will be happy to learn that a legate with great assiduity will soon be joining the island of Tirfredi. 
Thank you for your help, Excellency. And allow me to offer you this modest present for your voyage. Ooh. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord XP. Decide. Level two! Let's go! Your Excellency. Lord Desade. Now that your affair is taken care of, are you planning on helping the historians I spoke to you about? We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. Nice. Let's go tell them about I their stuff. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but it is all that we possess. Farewell. You have a kind heart, Greenblood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. Okay. We got 80 gold from those guys. We have a skill point to spend. Okay. Let's see. Firearms allows the use of pistols. We already we already have that, right? We don't have to put a point there. Yeah, we already have that. And the set traps. And we have one-handed blades here. All right, let's just do attack with one-handed blades. Deals more damage. Allows instantaneous setting of a trap on the ground while dodging. Firearms deal more damage. I like this one. I want to use these traps. I just, you know. They take a while to set. Let's let's learn this one. Let's set some traps on the ground. Let's 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 cause some chaos. Dest destructive elemental preparations increase the destruction armor of alchemical preparations of elemental damage. Okay. Seismic magic preparations increases the magic damage inflicted by the alchemical mix of magical damage. Economical alchemy allows the recovery of ingredients near the location of explosion of set trap and file throw. Oh, that's cool. Then we have file throw allows the throwing of alchemical preparations with explode on impact affecting all enemies in close proximity. Dude, there's a lot of points that go to be spent here. A uh, light grenades, alchemical preparation can be launched from further away. Mephictic discharge, poisoned alchemical mix applies a strong dose of poison to the uh, to the explosion, set trap or file throw. Extended stasis alchemy, increases the duration of the immobilizing effect of the alchemical stasis mix. Devastating grenades, increases the area of effect of the explosion of set trap and file throw. Bomb, there's a bomb that hits all enemies in a large area. Powerful bomb greatly affects the area. So that makes it from three meters to six meters. Toxic bomb. Bomb also poisons the hit enemy. Oh, that's pretty sick. Yo, I have to go through and read all these in a little bit. This is all about pistol stuff. And when it opens, allows the application of alchemical preparations on weapons, which adds an effect to the following hits. Oh, that's pretty cool. Roll allows to roll quickly. By using dodge a second time. Let's check this. Because this is like where we're starting at here. Like this area. So let's just read out from here. Attacking with blades does more damage. Damage from one-handed blades on an unarmored enemy are increased. The kick unbalances more. I need to use the kick more, I think. Devastating kick. The kick slightly damages armor. Long blades allows the use of 200 blades. Basic attack. Two hundred blades. Okay, sharpened edge, cutting breath, steel squall. Two handed heavy weapon. Okay, cool. This is really cool. I actually don't hate this tree. It, it's not a lot, but it's also pretty in depth at the same time. Wait, I don't have any points to spend on these things. Okay, let us go. Where are we with our side quests here? 
Talk with the coin guard barracks, quartermaster, and new serene. Okay, that's later on down the line. Inform the Thaleem ambassador. Let's go inform him of what we just did. He's not going to be happy, but it's whatever. It looks like there's a way to respec too if you get certain items. So if I don't like the current way I'm going, the current build I'm going, I can completely respec the character. So that's pretty cool. I sniff, I, I sniff that loot from a mile away. I'm like a freaking hound dog. Or a horn dog for loot, you know what I'm saying? And you really zoom with sprint. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? De Sade. It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them! How could that possibly have happened? Alas, these renegades have found protection with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. I would not have been able to capture them without risking a diplomatic incident that my uncle would have condemned. The Bridge. I thought as much. Those heretics have turned to them. But I had hoped that you might intervene quickly enough to stop them. It is truly regrettable. We have nothing else to do but pray that the Luminous might shield us from their lies. Hey, you have an XP still. And some rep with them. I must be going. Farewell, Level Excellency. three! May the light guide you, Dasade. Oh man, all this all this stuff we're doing is paying off real quick. We just got two levels off two quests. One for each quest. Let's check. We have another skill point to spend already? Oh my gosh. Do sharp steel. We are using our sword a lot. Let's make sure we uh, are doing some decent damage with it, you know? I feel like... Let me rebind this. Wait, can I not throw that potion? This potion. Set the poison alchemical mix which explodes when an enemy comes close, stealing element. Oh. Wait. Why is it not on my thing here? Unless it's those trap unless it's those traps. This is a uh, chemical preparation of elemental damage which explodes when I make them Okay, so that's what it is. Okay. That is what that is. Okay, cool. So those are my traps. I like that. I like that a lot. We have, to just we have to find the missing dude. The disappearing of the not novice. We gotta go find him. Alright, 
what do you guys think of the game so far? I'm learning as we go, so it's going a little slow, but that's what happens when you play new games sometimes. You gotta take it slow a little bit. Oh man, he just left his whole thing unattended. Is there anything in there? I can't get in there. Damn it. It's okay. The yeah, the 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 the, the cutscenes are, are jarring with the with the faces, but I don't know, it's been pretty interesting so far. Interesting concepts. Being a diplomat, you gotta be careful how you're uh, doing certain things. I think. Got to be uh, mindful of the relationships of everything and everyone. Smuggler's Journal. I have two new clients. They want to go to Al Sad, and the Inquisitors are on their heels, which will not make my job any easier. I think I can get them onto a ship inconspicuously. But we will have to be cautious, and I hope that they will prove patient and discreet. I'll hide them away in a warehouse behind the harbor office, where the Inquisitors will never dare enter. I already took care of them. That's about that couple we just helped. They defected. Who is you? Oh, you're the one of the friends. Good day. Someone told me that you're a friend of Jonas's, the young cabin boy who's gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taking the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. What does Jonas do in his free time when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. We've all had that bad medicine. We all know that feeling. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, as far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I call back to him, as you guessed, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. I need to be going. Farewell. We had the canals. The canals. All right, let's get out of this house here. Where's the other guy at? He's over here, right? Yeah. Borage. OK. 
chemical stasis mix. Does that give me a new trap? That's not what I want. Is that a stasis trap? Cool. I need to learn science stuff. I need to be able to make these potions. For sure. Good day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You're talking about Jonas. You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. I didn't expect this voice out of this guy. <laughs> Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puffed. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were. And I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No, not telling him that. I still have some pride left. You get me? Did Jonas seem troubled to you the night you disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> you think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. Kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. Okay. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a just man. Who knows his knots. He's well appreciated by the crew. It's a pity that he has a much heart for lass now and again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Thank you, Lara. I need to be going. Strange story, this is. Something isn't right here, I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. Let's go find the guy playing cards outside the bar. See what he saw. The color palette's kind of depressing. <laughs> At least this area. I don't know if it gets more uh, colorful as the game goes on, but it's... It's definitely uh, depressing uh, to look at. I'm not gonna lie. I can upgrade my rusty stiletto. Can't upgrade my gun. Can't upgrade any of this stuff that we came in with. Okay. What's an upgrade take? Shoulders, breastplate, and strap. That's really cool. It actually changes how it looks. Ooh, it makes it purple. No, it just gives it a purple. Cool. We're not really there yet to do stuff with that, but that's really cool. Let's talk with the tavern keeper again. Someone else is missing. What'd you see? Tavern keeper. I see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? I'm looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who's been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? 
That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping. In my establishment. You surely jest. Or at least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. Anything else? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Where's he at? Oh, there he is, right there. Look at him. Won't give up his chair, but stands against the wall. Who are you? I don't recognize you. This guy didn't Am see I shit. Debt? No. Have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I am here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago. After visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing, that I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A moneylender? No, sir. You are in luck. It so happens that I know the man. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulemi Embassy. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. So, what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding I was led time? to believe that anyone with the Malachor uh, was blind based on the first cutscene with uh, our person's mother. <laughs> Apparently, that guy can see. Even though it looks like he's blind and stuff. Good to know. I won't no, I won't make that judgment that they are just blind. Which is why I yelled, he didn't see shit. <laughs> but apparently he did. My bad. Confr find and confront the kidnappers. Might I help you, sir? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. Are we gonna walk in on a sex cult? Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lord de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here, but perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We're looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. 
The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your son had a fight with your husband and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly... Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family? These witnesses are all in agreement and it's their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. What was your son doing on a nought ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. What are you talking about? I would have thought that a legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. This horrible, constant ransoming that they put us through. But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Norts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact? It sounds like some fear-inducing story. Hmm. The Norts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Dubious, you say? That's interesting. Sounds like the the Tanakh. They 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 fear them like the Tanakh, and the, the Tanakh chop off heads and drink blood, right? But they all seem pretty chill with me every time I encounter them. I don't know. I don't know what to look into it. This is not an area to we got loot. All right. Let's go and uh, get some information about this. I thought they were born... The, is our captain lying to us? He gave us a different story about how people were born in the, the knots. They were born at sea or they were sea gifted. Don't you worry now. You'll get your merchandise. I was hoping he could sell me some stuff, but it's all good. Learn more about not contracts. Hey, yo, Captain, you lie to us? So, you still haven't found your cousin? As you well know, we cannot leave without him. Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? I'm still without news of my cabin boy, but we will have to do without. I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. She claims that her son was taken from her. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking of? A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the Nords, some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can tell you is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been a Nord. Our ships are his home. We are his only family be back soon captain you see anyone else who might be able to help us anyone fair enough not sir de Corsillon's a veritable well of scientific knowledge he could tell us a little more 
So they made a deal with the knots. And since the Sun Sea gifted, he was to go with the knots. And now they want him back. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. Don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know her. That rich family that lives near the docks. She told me a strange story about her son who was a cabin boy on our ship. She said that he was taken when he was a child due to some contract with the Nords. Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news, De Sade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there has always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Nords. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. From time to time, the congregation has passed such accord, and certain noble families had to give their children up. Are you telling me that the Fontaines lost their son because of some agreement signed between my uncle and the Nords? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance, uh, uh, via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange for wealth? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child, and regretted it afterwards. But that is of little importance. What counts most is that you bring the boy back to the Norts as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. Our nation could feel it in its coffers. I will do my best. A father selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. That could be of use to us. Oh boy. Talk about some family drama, am I right? Can't open that. Zero of ten. All right. All right. I'm thinking my guess is that the kid was picked up and they forced him to leave even though he didn't want to because he wants to stay on the ship. That's my guess right now. FBI, open up. Note to the attention of the servant. Alice, I would like you to prepare several mirrors, meals and bring them to the warehouse we own on the canal. My husband will have to work there with his clerk and his men for a few days. So make sure that there is enough for food for everyone and be discreet. We don't want other families to know what is happening. This document mentions another property, a warehouse. That would be a great place to hide. Shall we take a peek? Let's go have a chat with the lady of the house first. Excuse me, madam, but I haven't quite finished my inquiry yet. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you all that I have to say. Well, I am not... With respect, okay. my lady. All right. I, I was going to say I'm not courteous, but... I guess I am. Sometimes I wish we were more like Kurt. Find a way to free Jonas. Oh wait, I think this is the back alley. Yeah, there's no way out of here. Shoot. Are your boots worn through? Is 
Are your boots worn through? Find a way to free Jonas. Here we are. Be careful. Fontaine won't be alone. He'll have his henchmen with him. Let's just try to remain discreet. Either downstairs or upstairs. Let's try upstairs. Are you able to sneak attack people? I don't think they're up here. <laughs> I'm gonna take a guess. They're not up here, Kurt. We gotta go downstairs. Into the basement. Man, where's all the loot at? I need more loot. Sir Desade, what are you doing here? I've come looking for your son. The Nauts are worried about his disappearance. Uh, those Nauts took him from us, but now we've got him back, and he'll be staying with us. Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? Tell him about what Sir de Cosolion told us. Attempt to reason him, charisma, or threaten him. What should I, oh, choices. Should we try charisma? It's a 50% chance. I tell him what, uh, I don't want to get into a fight if I don't have to, you know. I looked into the contract that binds you to the Nords. It was indeed you who ceded your son to them in exchange for help with your business with the bridge. It is... Uh, it is so. But that sort of contract is ignoble. I never would have signed it if I had known. You should have thought of that before. Breaking the contract could have regrettable consequences for the congregation. The prince will know how to negotiate with the Nords. If they take my son back, my wife will die of sadness. Her sadness will be all the more terrible if she learned of your role in the story, don't you think? You wouldn't dare tell her. I, I beg you. You're not leaving me with a choice. Very well. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the noughts. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. Oh boy. One, two, three, four guys would have had a fight. I would have smoked them. Oh, this place is big. Nope, not where I want to go. They had him locked up in a jail cell. That's one way to take care of your son. A blunt war axe. One handed heavy weapons. Using this, this is kind of better still. Who are you? My name is Desade. I am legate of the congregation. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my my father to allow me to go free? Yes. Even if I had to bend his arm a little. That doesn't surprise me. He seemed to have no intention of changing his mind. I feel more sorry for my mother. She seems so sweet and happy to see me. You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. 
I hadn't seen them since I was five years old. I barely remember them. They find me, capture me, and lock me up in this warehouse. Hard to grow close after all that. My family is the noughts. I am sorry for my parents, but that is the way of it now. Can I go home? Yes. You should still go and say farewell to your mother. Then find your way to the ship. I'll see you there. Let's go inform Captain Vasco. Right, we got that done. Good stuff. Look at us. Look at us. Doing the Lord's work out here. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Where in the hell am I? Here we go. Still no clue where I'm at, but I'm out of that spot. Let's go inform the captain. And then we'll find our cousin. And then we'll be able to finally set sail for New Starine. Stop waving to me like that. So, you still haven't found your cousin? As you well know, we cannot leave without him. Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? My cabin boy, Jonas, is back on ship. I have you to thank, I imagine. You do. It's a rather sad affair, and though solved, leaves a broken family behind. All we can do is plot a course. No one tells the wind what to do. I do thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much trouble for a cabin boy. Your actions bring you honor. Oh, let's go. Be back soon, Captain. Three rep with the knots? Let's go. All right, I don't think we have any more side quests in this area. I think we're, we're set on that. Ay ay captain. Ay ay. Ay ay ay. <laughs> barrage. These flowers were picked from barrage plants. Ingredients used mainly in science to create magic potions. This ingredient is found mainly in these regions. Glendid. Okay. The shore of the tall bones. Uh, Vedrad, the redwoods. Magasvar, the veil of the great battle. Wang Shagana, the singing waters. Krasonegad, the ancient woods. What are these names for these areas? Oh gosh, I'm not able to pronounce any of them. We will let him know when we're over in New Serene. We can't do that now. So yeah, great departure. We gotta go talk to, we gotta go find Constantine. Gotta go find cousin. Should be able to do that just fine. Let's see what.